Here's a fun 3D shape game that your whole family could play. You can just play it with yourself. You can go play with your sisters or brothers. It doesn't matter. Mrs. Masco has four kids that can play this game, but it's okay if you do it yourself. So what you can have is have someone at your house time you and say, I bet you can't see how many 3D shapes you can find in one minute. So that Mrs. Masco did that with her kids. And since I have four kids, I only gave them 30 seconds to bring me either spheres, cylinders, cubes, or rectangular prisms. Now my kids could not in 30 seconds find a triangular prism or a cone, which I agreed I could not find those in 30 seconds. But if you can find those, that's great. So I, what I would do is say on your mark, get set, go, and bring as many 3D shapes as you can over to an area. We brought ours to this dresser here. And then what I want you to do, once you put them all on the table, what you can find in 30 seconds, I want you to sort them. So see if all the spheres are round. They have no uh, faces. You can see the marble going there. We have a ball. So we would sort all the spheres together. And let's look at some of our cylinders. Remember, our cylinders have two flat faces. Okay, there's our two flat faces. It can roll. We can stack them. There's a can would be a good one. Okay, we have for our cubes, which was interesting, we have a dice. We were playing a game the other day, so they found a dice. Okay, you can practice counting how many faces do they have? How many vertices? Okay, how many sides? And they had a little game they found because we were sorting, so that would be a cube, it's flatter. Up, oh, what would the can be? A can would be a cylinder. And here's some rectangular prisms. So you can practice. You can say that you'll see a rectangle on one side, a square on the other. So we found some tissues. They found a box of butter where they were cycling, and we were playing Yahtzee the other day, and that box is in the shape of a rectangular prism. So once you sort those, if you even want to go further with it, just practice counting how many faces are on each 3D shape, how many vertices are points, how many sides do they have. It's a good sort activity. It's something you can do with anybody you have at your house. Have fun. Bye.